All new tonight at 11, a Buffalo Councilman wants an independent citizens review board to look at issues of police misconduct and recommendations for the department. What he doesn't want is a board that is anti-police. I went one-on-one -on -one with the University District Councilman Rashid Wyatt to learn more. I think it's very important to have an independent body um, to deal with um, not just police misconduct, but also um, engagement with the community. Um, it's been somewhat successful in Syracuse and Rochester. University District Councilman Rashid Wyatt wanted a citizens review panel since 2020. There was a police advisory board, but it was recently dissolved by the Common Council due to internal differences, something former members of that board spoke out about to Channel 2 this year. I think that this is a bigger conversation of why we need a board that's independent of the Common Council. It's a political move to get control of the uh, police advisory board, pure and simple. Wyatt thinks that's hurting his effort for a new citizens review panel. Some of my colleagues may be, are fearful of is that we may get a group of people who are anti-police and that just creates a bigger mess. So how would this one be different? If there's a complaint, um, instead of it going to internal affairs, um, the citizens review advisory, the citizens review board would review those complaints and investigate those complaints. So that's what that would be. That would be more, it would give them more teeth to address issues uh, as police misconduct and also recommendations to improve community policing. He wants this to happen, but thinks it's going to take time for the entire council to get on board.